Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Bata here. Welcome back to another video and today we're here playing some more Call of Duty Vanguard. It is the day after Christmas so I just want to wish you guys like a day after Merry Christmas but today we're gonna be playing some Vanguard and instead of just playing like with the regular guns like I usually do, today I'm just gonna be sniping. I haven't really went around and just sniped people in Call of Duty in a while. I've been too worried about like trying to boost my weapons but for this video specifically we're just rocking the sniper, all right? I don't know how Christmas was for you guys but it started off a little bit interesting already. Starting off with the fact that there was a fire literally across the street at the Walmart. Someone got really mad that they got fired from the job and literally had to start an entire fire in the aisle this man was really that sad he lost his walmart job not like there's another walmart around the street or a target he must have really thought that it wasn't his fault that he got fired he must have been thinking that he did everything right this man really tried to burn down an entire walmart he started the fire where like the toilet papers and the napkins were like the most flammable stuff and it, it got pretty wide they didn't burn down the entire walmart but he did take out a good few aisles with him so that was just the beginning of christmas and then i ended up seeing spider-man no way home again so i've seen that movie twice already i love that movie and then we went to my girlfriend's family side of the house and we did like a whole like big gathering with like a white elephant and stuff and then the next day we went to my family's house and did like a whole white elephant thing i've never really played a white elephant like this was the first year that i've played it and i played it on both sides and i had a lot of fun like so much that i kind of just want to do it like every time now like i've never played white elephant we never had a tradition to do anything like that but this time we need to make it one it's okay though i'm not like the one that brings the best present at the white elephant because sometimes you're not leaving with the best present you know like what is white elephant without a good present and a very bad present everyone be getting like some mid-tier presents though but there's like there's always one good one and one shitty one i'm already looking forward to call of duty being as sweaty as it is man everyone just got call of duty for christmas do you know how many christmas noobs there are gonna be online today yeah these games are already really sweaty it's so hard to just get out of spawn for the past two back-to-back -back games i've been getting in with like these people that just know exactly where the location of you are and they pre-fire it's so weird People are just so good, man. People are not taking it easy on the Christmas noobs. They're giving them hell. They're taking advantage to get their, you know, XP and level up and everything. And then you know you're a real one when you take your homie a present in the middle of the night at Christmas. It was 1 a.m. and we went to go take the homie the Christmas present. And he was 30, 40 minutes away at work because he works at the night shifts. And we got him a little present. We had to give it to him. So we drove 40 minutes to take it to him, bro. That's the real one right there. Just kicked it in his work for a little bit. Because he does work the night shift. So he ends up like, you know, most of the night he's just alone. But we're not just going to give him the present and dip like that, you know. We're going to hang out for a little bit, kick it with the homie, say what's up. And he did enjoy his present. You know, I don't really mind the new maps in Vanguard, really but they just keep giving them to me they keep giving me the paradise one they keep giving me that other one with the tunnel in it i don't know the name of it the one that kind of looks like dome from modern warfare 3 like i don't mind the new maps but literally every time i try to join a game that map one of those maps are loading up like i get you're trying to push the map but if i just keep playing those maps back to back to back it's not gonna be fun already one of them i'm kind of not really getting the feel for but the one that's like modern warfare 3 dome i kind of like it it's just that one's picked way too much you know i only got like an actual old map like once and i think that was oasis like can i I just get something there's so many other maps in this game and i just keep getting the exact same two new maps like that's boring oh look at that we actually got shipment instead of ship miss okay using a sniper on shipment isn't like my strongest suit but i'll try using a sniper on any small map isn't my strong suit unless it's like you know a free-for-all sniper but when everyone got guns it's pretty hard I don't know about you guys, but there's these elves that are hanging around every single Call of Duty map. And when you get near them, they start doing this disgusting laughter. Like a horrible, disgusting laughter that literally goes until you kill them. It's not like, hey, can I just sit next to you and hear you laugh for five minutes and then you stop? That dude will laugh the whole game. And it's so annoying when you don't even know where they're located. The laugh is so gross. It's so annoying. And it's like, I know they do it on purpose. But I need to disable elves laughs button immediately. Oh my god, there's that laugh again! I don't even think about anything else but that laughter when I hear it. I'm just like, oh my god. Fuck both of you. Fuck both of you. Oh, that was a little, that was chaotic. I'm not really good with a sniper on tiny maps. I also just need to warm up. I haven't really played COD for the past like two days either. You know, I've been trying to kick it with the family. Yeah, of course, this is play the game. My humiliation of how slow my car ADS is. Look at this. I would have hit that quick scope too. I would have hit it. I know it.
can't make that thing ADS any faster though. And I did buy myself a couple of games for Christmas too. Like I would love for you guys to leave comments down below on what you got for Christmas, dude. Cause it'd be really cool to see what you guys all like, you know, wanted and see if you got what you wanted. I didn't really get anything crazy. I just got some clothes and a hundred dollar Steam card. So I ended up buying some games on Steam and I bought a skin for Rust and CSGO. And I still got like 40 bucks left, bro. Cause everything's on sale. I'm not really sure what to buy next, but I'm going to figure it out. I was going to make a series on one of the game I bought though, uh, uh, Back for Blood. I didn't know if I was just going to make it like how I just play it randomly or if I was going to try and beat the campaigns in order if it is just like left for dead it really doesn't matter because they're just levels there's no actual like storytelling type thing at least that's how it was in the alpha and beta i don't know how it is like now if they added like a bunch of new things that i'm missing out on but the next video you guys see tomorrow it should be a back for blood video so don't get me wrong i love call of duty and i would love to post these type of videos every single day but vanguard just doesn't have enough content for me specifically i usually play call of duty to grind not really to have fun there's only a few games i play where it's like specifically to have fun but there's also games where i take them very seriously because i'm like competitive you know i'm a competitive player i play games competitively i can't help it like fortnite and cod my competitive games for sure csgo valorant i tried to make them but i'm just not good enough i can make them if i probably put more time into them but i would rather just play you know call of duty and stuff i have a whole like nice skin set out on csgo and stuff maybe i should make a csgo or valorant video one day the games i probably play for fun are like uh russ even though russ is hard to play for fun i take everything serious even when i try to play a game for fun i take things too serious i'm just a competitive player but there are games i try to load up to try and be fun and like you know try not to like remind myself like hey dude calm down calm down it's just a game god i fucking hate that phrase it's just a game it's not just a game especially if you're a gamer it is your life of course in the end it is just a game but what you don't think i know that all right fine when, when you lose a million dollars on deal or no deal i'm gonna tell you it's just a game stop crying take your 40 cent case and leave nothing is just as is something will always be more than what it's supposed to be i'm sorry but gaming to me is literally just life that's my life without games i have no life people say ha playing games makes me have no life but not playing games means i have no life Oh my god, what is that disgusting ass laughter again? I don't know where it's at, but that rocket will take care of it. Well, they made it where you get challenges for getting the elves, but dude, even with the challenges, I don't want the elf. All right, that is going to wrap up the video here, though. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, remember to leave a like to show your support and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Because we're on that road to 12,000 subscribers, and I know with your help, we could do it. Follow my social medias down in the description below. I got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, eFuse, TikTok, all that good stuff down in the description. Just click the links, and I'll see you guys there. And then I do post videos every single day, so if you want to turn on those post notifications, it does help a lot. But that is the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video later. Two time zones, find the money where I'm at. I got new pink stones, find me shining from the back. Got a key to my loan, unless you want. Wanna make it clap If you ask for a loan, well, I can't do that I need more